Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is number of boomerangs. So you are given n points in the plane that are all distinct, where the point is denoted by x of x and y of i. A boomerang is a tuple of points i, j and k that you have to find out such that a distance between i and j equal to a distance between i and k. You have to find out different type of tuples that can be formed. The order of the tuples also matter. So let's say that you have 3.0, 0, 1,0, 2,0. .0. So let us draw it out. Let's say you have this as the number plane and this is 0, 0. Okay. Then the next one is 1, 0. So 1, 0. And then the next one is 2, 0. So 2, 0. Number of boomerangs. So boomerangs is that you can form any, like you can find out any i, j, and k in this plane such that this line is equal to this line so what you can directly see is that if i just find out this as one of the possible answers so this because it is zero so this length is one this length is one so this is one of the possible tuples also what you can see that this is also one of the tuples so going from left to right and right to left so because the order matters so what they are trying to say is that one comma zero zero comma one and two comma zero as well as one comma zero two comma zero and zero comma zero so if you just find out a distance between i and j and j, i and k so i and i and j so this distance is one and this distance is one and this distance is one this now how you can find out like all of the possible boomerangs or like tuples in this because what you can actually see is that the total length is up till 500 you can do like you can do an o of n square approach but not o of n cube because that will be like time limit exceeded but you can do easily o of n square now what you can actually do is that for a boomerang like for a boomerang to form the best case scenario is like you just have to ensure that for a given point for a given point what is this length and what is this length so let's say we, we just take out three points let's say i k and k so for a fixed i if i just do a for loop for every ith element inside the area that we have for every i okay we just have to find out what are the total number of lengths that are equal okay and from all of those equal lengths you can form out the possible number of what you can say boomerangs so what you can actually do is let's say for every given i for so i just find out from every point i i will find out this distance between every other point okay so let's say this point so for respect to this point there is one point here one point here so i just find out all the distance between every this point let, let's say this length is one this length is one this length is two this length is two this length is three and let's say one point that is three now with respect to this point how many boomerangs i can form with this as a center let's say if i take this as a boomerang this is the like a center point then i can form number of boomerangs with equal lengths only so this is one of the boomerangs i can form or this and this okay so for if, if let's say i have n lengths that are equal then for every ith length i can choose the other n minus one lengths okay so total number of boomerangs I can form is n into n minus 1 for a given point okay so what what eventually i have to do is that for every point you have to make a separate map of how many total lengths that are equal with respect to this point and then finally when you have all the map you just iterate over all this map and find out how many total lengths that are equal so let's say there are two lengths of length one that are equal so for this one i can form this as a boomerang and from this one i can form this as a boomerang because order matter now let's say if i have three lengths so if i have three lengths that are connected to the singular point how many total boomerangs i can form i can form this boomerang i can form this boomerang with this to this boomerang this boomerang with this to this this boomerang and this boomerang so to, for every ith point i have other uh, n minus one point so for every n points i have other n minus one points which i can pair with total number of points i can form is this and then we just have to add all of those points for every ith point that we iterated over in this for loop and that's the process let us show and move down to the code part now so what we have done is that we have taken the total points of this whole array is n total number of boomerang second form is total and for iterating over for every ith point i will make a separate map and for that particular map what i'll do is that i will find out a distance between the ith point and all the other points that we're iterating over and store them inside this map okay what is whatever the distance now because the distance between two points is if you just want to find out distance between two points i know that you directly know the formula if this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 distance between them is under root of let's say x1 minus x2 whole square 
plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now because it's under root then and we are storing it in map how many total unique occurrences are there then this will cause a problem because it is under root but what we can actually do is because if we directly remove this under root also then also these will be unique values only because the distance will be unique so what instead of writing down this value why not just calculate out x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square because eventually we do not read the need the actual distances we just need how many total distances are same okay so that so we we are eventually in this distance are only calculating out this dis, like difference into like difference whole square okay for x and y not the under root part and then add those distances inside the map now we have the total number of distances that are same now for we again iterate over the map and then for any distance that is like if i have any occurrence greater than one okay then what i'll do is i will increment the total i into i minus one so if i have total occurrence of let's say n so n into n minus one so total occurrence is i dot second for every given point that is inside this map so i dot second into i to second minus one so it is n into n minus one n into n minus one okay that is how we can get the total occurrences for a given point how many total number of pairs i can form that will be boomerangs and then it is the answer so going to a time obesity what we have done is that we have done two for loops and for like for this outer for loop we have also make a map also okay so it so we are already creating a new map so this this whole operation like inserting so it is n square login okay so n square and there's a login operation to insert inside the map also and that's so and then there's again a for loop but the overall maximum time obesity is n square login and uh, you can also like optimize the time obesity by making an unordered an map also here but it, i don't think so it is matter too much but yeah that's overall time obesity for this problem as well thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one i keep coding and